out for something nice and simple. strings. So, this Czech violin from the mid 20th century, 1930 to 1950, is the estimated age of it. Uh, it's unlabeled. At the first listen and first play to me, it's a very nice sounding violin that has a full bodied tone. It's very responsive, which means when you put the bow to the string, you, you know, it registered, registers the, the touches of sound straight away. So um, it's got a really nice sort of initial bite to the sound. Um, the strings are set to Vienna orchestra level, which is a universal standard for classical music. So that's the height of the strings there from the distance from the fingerboard. So as you can see there, it's a very good level. Now, if it's if it's not in good shape, a violin generally will have a much larger distance between the two. So this is in a very playable condition. Um, the violin itself, I found, had a really nice tone, particularly on the, the lower end on the G string. I really liked the tone there. It was really nice and full bodied. Um, so it's got a really loud volume to it, this violin, which means if you're looking to play as a soloist, then this could be a great violin for you. Now, in terms of the level um, which, as which, at which you should invest in a violin like this, I would say once you're sort of at the intermediate student level, which is roughly sort of grade four, five-ish, and looking to go into the higher grades, this violin would see a student right up until their grade eight if they wanted to pursue it that far. Um, so all in all, this is a really good high quality student violin that will take you into the advanced level of playing. I really like the sound of it and I hope that you do as well. <laughs>